Trade and Commerce Minister Rufus Buski says the astronomical increase in the price of flour on the world market calls for a review of government subsidies on the commodity. Government is the sole importer of flour but is making a major loss. Buske says the price of the commodity is continuing to increase, placing a huge burden on the government. The price to St. Lucia has increased quite substantially and um, we're currently trying to put a format together in which we can cause the least dislocation to the consumer. The trade minister says government has been under pressure from suppliers for a price increase as they were incurring huge losses. Buske says the suppliers eventually threatened to cut off government supply if the administration failed to increase the price of that commodity. There are you know, almost what I would consider exponential rises in the cost of flour and, um, from, from our suppliers. And um, I don't think it's really a profit situation because they gave us ample evidence that they were losing a lot of money and it got to the point where they were going to actually cut off supply if we didn't raise the price. So in spite of our contractual arrangements, we were forced to reconsider it in light of the situ situation they themselves are facing. And um, on that basis, I think you know, it's really a worldwide situation. It's a global situation. Buske says government is attempting to cushion the impact of an increase on consumers, but says the public must understand it is a situation that is out of government's control. People have to understand that, you know, if it goes up for us, at some point government cannot continue to subsidize to the extent that it has, uh, because it's really affecting government's entire budget and our capacity to execute our, uh, shall we say, capital program. A date for the increase has not been confirmed. Buske says it is a matter that must be discussed further, then brought to cabinet. Flour is a price-controlled commodity only imported by the St. Lucian government. Alison Kentish, HDS News, Channel 4.